My name is Seamus, and today I would like to speak to you about the importance of communication when it comes to taking care of mental health. So, this all started for me back when I moved from sixth class in primary school to first year in secondary school. I had to deal with a lot of new changes, like speaking English all the time instead of Irish, calling teachers by their surnames instead of their first names, learning all of different classrooms that had really weird names. I had to find out what the option subjects were. I had to pick them. I needed to understand maths. So while I was dealing with all of this, a few months into secondary school, I started questioning my sexuality. So that added a lot onto it. I started wondering, am I gay? What will people think of when I try to tell them? How do I even tell them? And then, while I was still trying to figure out that, lockdown happened. I'm sure you all remember how terrible it was to be stuck in your house with the same people all day, trying to figure out how to do school online without just closing it because it is so boring. So I was kept up at night thinking about, did I hand in the homework? How the hell does Teams work? Why do I need to have my camera on? Why do I need to speak over a microphone? Um, am I gay? These all kept me up in the middle of the night. So eventually I got so fed up of all of this, I decided I had to speak to someone. So I got out of my bed, I walked downstairs, and I sat on the couch beside mom and started to talk. I told her everything that was bothering me. We all agreed that online school is terrible. Even the teachers hated it. They tell you how bad it was. So we went through everything. We researched sexualities. We talked about how terrible it was for both of us to be stuck in the house. And we all, we both worked together to try and keep each other calm. Then we eventually got back to school. I started coming out to some of my friends, and they were all really supporting and really accepting of it. And I started telling them other things that were stressing me out. Because I had opened up to them, they in return started opening up to me. And I felt a huge boost in my confidence. Thanks to this boost in my confidence, I signed up for a youth leadership course run by Froega. So as part of the third module, uh, you have to do a 20-hour-long community project. So I decided in a, my school to run a mental health day. Unfortunately, last year, it didn't go to plan. And it had to be rearranged because of sports day, so the people I had tried to bring in couldn't attend. The deputy principal, who I had asked for help with, wasn't available. So instead, I had to send out an email to all the tutors with little information that they could do with their classes that morning. I have tried again this year. It went really well. The sixth years, I'm really jealous of this, got coffee and hot chocolate in the morning. I got nothing. <laughs> I arranged the whole thing. Um, uh, I brought in my choir teacher from outside of school. She went with the TY performance class and talked to them about how music is really helpful when it comes to taking care of your mental health. So, and different teachers ran different things. I think an SPHE class did something about anxiety. Um, so I think this year it was really successful, and I hope that it works again next year and even when I'm not in the school anymore. So the message I would like to give you is that you should find one person to talk to, one person you can trust. It can be a parent, like it was for me. It can be a friend. It can be a teacher, a family member, a youth leader. All they have to do is listen. They don't need to know anything about it. If you're lucky, they might, and they can point you in the direction of a professional, like a counselor, or an art therapist, or a music therapist, or an animal therapist, or even a youth group, if talking to a stranger about all of your problems is a bit scary, which I know it is. So the Ireland I want to live in is one where everyone has one person they can trust, one person who listens to them, one person who can help them through difficult times in their lives.